Living Language. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello and welcome to Living Language with me, s u w a n a k e m d a n g from Faculty of Liberal Arts, Rajmongkon University of Technology, p r a n a k o n as your host. This program is brought to you by RMUTP English Online. You can listen to our programs at EnglishOnline.rmutp.ac.th and Facebook page, also the YouTube channel RMUTP Live. In trendy words today, we are going to talk about the word cringe. And in language learning, I'm going to talk about learning English from reading aloud to self. Stay tuned. Trendy words. In trendy words today, I'm going to talk about being cringe. The word cringe, spelled with C R I N G E. The word cringe is used for showing that you think something is very embarrassing or bad. For example, you walk in full of confidence, then you slip and fall over. That's cringe. Or you call someone who wants Fat free chocolate cake. That's cringe too. How chocolate cake can be fat free? So being cringe is something that happens all the time. Using the word cringe can relate to a way of how we view the world or how we live our lives. Some of us might believe in being perfect. Everything must be a hundred percent accomplished, but. Let me share with you a piece of famous figure news. She is Taylor Swift. She gives commencement speech, and part of her speech goes viral. That cringe is unavoidable over a lifetime. The singer spoke at the graduation for New York University seniors. She noted that such a world will lead her to believe that any mistakes would sink her forever. But she noted, "My experience has been that my mistakes led to the best things in my life." Being embarrassed when you mess up is part of the human experience. Getting back up, dusting yourself off, and seeing who still wants to hang out with you afterward and laugh about it—that's a gift. I couldn't agree more with her. I believe no nobody is perfect. We can learn from our mistakes or someone else's mistakes, and we should stop blaming each other, but take a closer look at what went wrong and try to fix it, and try to prevent it for a better performance in the future. If we keep blaming on someone's mistake, we couldn't move forward. Anyway, let's get back to uh, being cringe. One piece of the advice Taylor Swift gave the class was that not to cringe away from cringe. Learn to live alongside cringe. That means we need to live with um, doing mistake. It happen all the time. If we believe in being perfect, our life will be too serious. No matter how hard you try to avoid being cringe, you will look back on your life and cringe retrospectively. Cringe is unavoidable over a lifetime. Even the even the term cringe might someday be deemed cringe. And I love that. In other words, try not to edit your life as you are living it. I promise you, you are probably doing or wearing something right now that you will look back on later and find revolting and hilarious. This is the um, 
daily routine. Sometimes we think too much on what to wear. Like we spend an hour on choosing clothes to wear that day, and then we we ran to work, and then we are late. But later, if we are um, looking back, we will see that okay, the costume or the clothes that we wore that day looks good, or is. Doesn't matter. No one cares what we are wearing. As Taylor Swift said, "I had a f a i r s where for the en- uh, uh, entirely of 2012, I dressed like a 1950s housewife. But you know what? I was having fun. That what um, we are confident what we are wearing is something that um, maybe someone like it, someone doesn't like it, and." We have to um, believe, or we have to know that we cannot please every single one. So we have both uh, those who doesn't like it, and we have those who love it a lot. So trends and f a s e s are fun. Looking back and laughing is fun too, and we all made a mistake, but it's okay. No, nobody is perfect. So that's a story of the word cringe that I brought to share with you guys today. Um, learn to live alongside cringe, and we are coming back with the language learning tips in the second part of the program. Language learning tips. Welcome back, everyone. In language learning tip today, I like to talk about reading. Everyone appreciates the importance of reading, and there are silent reading and reading aloud. And reading aloud can be reading aloud to others. For example, reading aloud to kids or to students or to your family members. And also, you can reading aloud to self. Today, I'm going to talk about reading aloud to self. Um, first of all, let's get back to reading aloud. Reading aloud is one of the most important things. Parents and teachers can do with children. Reading aloud builds many important 
um, foundational skills introducing or uh, introduces vocabulary or provides a model of fluent expressive reading and helps children recognize what reading for pressure is all about and for reading aloud to self I would like to share that this activity can improve speaking skills, especially English speaking skills. As a Thai learning English in Thailand, we have limited opportunity to practice English, especially speaking. We can do this by reading English written text out loud. When we hear our own voice, we will know what we need to do to improve. We will know how to control lips or tongue or teeth to make English sounds. And of course, this strategy is suitable for adult English learners who can read English already, not for young kids who just started to read because they still cannot uh, make um, cannot read some vocabularies. This group can be um, learned or can be learning or can learn by listening to other reading aloud to them. And I encourage everyone to try this strategy to improve the English speaking skill. That's the learning tips for today. The next part of the program is RMUTP News. RMUTP News You are listening to Living Language with me, Suanna. Now we are at RMUTP News section. The first news is from Faculty of Liberal Arts. Liberal Arts Researchers were awarded the best poster presentation in the Liberal Arts National Conference and the Outstanding Oral Presentation in Liberal Arts International Conference um, held by RMUTS or Rajmongkon University of Technology Sivichai in Songkra Province, Thailand. The conferences were during the 3rd and the 4th of August. 
2023. The winning researchers are assistant professor Ankana Wesoho, who won the best poster presentation. And assistant professor Song Siri Wichi Ranon and Ajahn Metika Puang Seng, the last two won the outstanding poster presentation. And also, um, Dr. Suwana Kim Dang, that's me myself, won the outstanding presentation in uh, Liberal Arts International Conference in Oral Presentation. The second news is about the cultural exchange activity of Faculty of Liberal Arts Rajamongkon Pranakorn, Assistant Professor Yutapum Suwanwe, the Dean of Faculty of Liberal Arts, said that during the 7th to the uh, 16th of August 2023, the faculty was invited by the Association of Thai people in northern Lulia, Sweden, to bring Thai culture to present in the Thai Festival 2023 in Lulia, the Kingdom of Sweden. Dean Yutapum led totally 10 teachers and students to attend the event as invited. And during uh, this activity on the 12th of August 2023, Her Excellency Mrs. Arun Rung Potong Humphreys, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to Sweden, together with staff of Royal Thai Embassy in Stockholm, participated in this festival as well. And the festival was here at Lulio Stad Parking. And of course, this organized by the uh, Association of Thai People in Northern uh, Lulio. The event featured a variety of cultural performances, including Thai dances, Thai music, handcraft, as well as Thai food and products. On this occasion, uh, the ambassador Arun Rung had also an opportunity to meet Mrs. Karina Samili, Mayor of Lulio, and Mr. Daniel Samirat, Chair of the Municipal Assembly of Lulio at Statuset. The Faculty of Liberal Arts also gather information about the use of English in Sweden to study uh, the taskbed English learning and teaching as part of the research project of the Division of English for International Communication. The visit of the Faculty of Liberal Arts was greatly successful. The embassy appreciates the solidarity and cooperation of the various groups of Thai communities that have contributed to the great success of uh, this year's Thai festival in Lulio. This success reflects the strength of the Thai community in Sweden that they um, also invited the Faculty of Liberal Arts to join and uh, to uh, show the Thai people in Sweden on also the Swedish and also the international tourists in the area to uh, see the authentic Thai culture. Let's wrap up the news for today. Well, that's all we have time for today, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you again same time next week. Please subscribe to our channel on Facebook, YouTube, and online, RMUTP Live, and all the programs can be accessed online at englishonline.rmutp.ac.th. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. สวัสดีค่ะ. -bye. Living Language, 